exclusively on TomorrowPictures.tv. I raised Reverend Al Sharpton. Denzel, I believe I'm God. Vinci Lanchi or something, huh? <laughs> you think you God, huh? I have a new Jello pudding coming out. Oh, yeah, oh you're picking the intern, huh? But the terrace will sure go. Oh, Sally, when you coming to me? <laughs> you look real interesting. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm a little confused, okay? Everybody's talking about this guy, Reggie Reg, like he's some, some big, Big movie star, huh? But what about me, Al Pacino? I'm sitting around here, wondering about what's going on. They tell me this guy's got a lot going on. Oh yeah, a lot's going on. They tell me about uh, him doing Jesse Jackson, a throwback on Richard Pryor. He's doing something with cartoons and Louis Farrakhan. Ha! Louis Farrakhan? Ha! This guy's gotta be the nuts or crazy. I want somebody to tell me who is Reggie Reg, okay? Because I'm sick and tired of not knowing who this guy is. Stay tuned for the Reggie Reg Show. Ha! And tonight, our uh, next guest is a uh, talented comedian and impressionist who can be seen performing regularly at the Jokes and Notes Comedy Club in Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Reggie Reg. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, uh, George W. Bush, uh, very happy to uh, uh, come before the American people because we're protecting America against terror. <laughs> and uh, so we'll take your questions right now. Hello, Mr. President, Chris Rock. <laughs> Saw your television dance, it was terrible. <laughs> Got some of my celebrity friends that want to help you out. Go ahead, first caller. Hi, Mr. President, this is Bill Cosby. I saw you. There was a song on the tape and I was a little disappointed, see? So I want to tell you they got to do the jello and got to do the pudding dance, see? See, see, because right here I have the pudding right here. A lot of pudding right here, a lot of jello. So whenever you get up, just be able to take the puck when you get up. Wow. Mr. President, your political power, I mean, you did you embarrass the party. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, that dance was so terrible. It was like a disaster, like the war. I mean, come on. <laughs> but listen, I got, I, I've got something for the war. I want to be able to take all of the Humvees and I want to pimp them out. Come on, <laughs> pimp them out. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I'd just like to say to you once, <laughs> just remember to puff, puff, and pass. <laughs> Mr. President, I saw you too. The whole world saw you, Mr. President. This is Morgan Freeman. You got to be able to shake your butt, Mr. President. We're going to show you how. Do you know how to walk it out? You know how to walk it out, don't you? What, don't you? Hold on one second. Mr. Sam, Mr. Sam, please tell Mr. Cheney this is not target practice right now, Mr. Sam. Expeditiously, expeditiously. <laughs> Reverend Jesse Jackson, uh, I just wanted to show you the Democrat that crowbot that you can do while you're out there dancing. First of all, America red, white, yellow, pastel green. But first we want to go like this. When you go, we want to do the robot. Beep. Mm-hmm. Mr. President, first day of training, George W. Bush, I want to show you around, give you a little taste of the business, you know? Okay? I taught 42 prisons. You are the 43rd, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the 
just, okay, I just want you to relax. Just want you to relax, okay? I'm going to take you to a bunch of clubs, okay? Just relax. I'm going to take you out and show you the business, all right? Hey, 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 whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, Mr. President. It's going to be all right. You're rolling with me now, you understand? You understand? Okay, okay, my Nick. Beep. I'm so happy to have the support of the American public to <laughs> try to help me when I go to the world. Thank you, and uh, God bless America. This is Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all times. Nobody ever asked me what did they think about Muhammad Ali, but people have the nerve to ask, what do you think about Jesse Jackson? Let's watch the clip now. If I could ask Jesse Jackson any question, it would be if he thought I was pretty. Wow. Um, pretty, um, like is your hair uh, better looking than it was the other day? Pretty, pretty things come in good packages, but sometimes when you get the package, it's not as pretty as you thought it would be. Pretty in one sense, when you say that that was pretty good or it could have been pretty bad or uh, in the way it go pretty is pretty in the way you look at it I think that America is pretty because when you look at the apple from the bottom and you look at it from the top sometimes it looks a certain way pretty but when you look at it another way and you see uh, maybe a worm at the bottom and that may not be so purde, but to somebody else, it may be purde. So purde and purde means purde to somebody that's purde. And to the person that's receiving the purde. So it's all purde, all good, purde. You are watching the Reggie Red Show. Hey, Reggie. I said to myself, why does Scooby-Doo always put in danger and in arm's way of his wife, right. a teammate's... Sure. Uh, Minister, think about it this way. Is Scooby-Doo ethnic? Is Scooby-Doo a minority? Scooby-Doo... Is he is I, brown. Yes, he is brown. And he is a dog. And he is a dog. And he might have liked hip hop or Okay. Or whatever it may be, but I know he was always high. <laughs> I thought that was Shaggy. Well, both of them because see, Shaggy provided the Snoopy snacks. Just like the man yeah. provides drugs for blacks and poor people. I'm feeling that. What are they doing? What in the hell are they doing? They didn't took a film of Richard Pryor going back into the times, talking about all crazy bad stuff. Let's take a look at it. The lost film. Oh my God. Ooh man. It's gotta be entertaining. Check it out. This shit, this shit's on. What the fuck my time? What the fuck is on? All right. Hey, this is Richard Pryor. Like I was sitting back thinking about some wild shit. I had a dream. It was almost perfect to me, but the future. Like this is 19, like 70s and shit, 73. But I got like some some weird stuff that really happened to me, and I really wanted to really talk to people about because I think I'm a psychic. Anybody got light? Hey, hey, bruh. Hey, bruh, you got light, bruh? Because my grandmother, she was saying, Richard, I don't care what's wrong with you, boy. Boy, you a psychic. Hey, I'm smoking a sit with no damn light. Anybody got light in this mother? 
America gonna go to war in 2003 too. I ain't really trying to do this. I had this dream, right? And I saw this crazy motherfucker that got elected. He wasn't even elected president of the United States. That's some cold shit. I got a woman, way old time, and it's good to me. Child support payments is a mother Log on to tomorrowpictures.tv for all your latest news and information. All right, so you're here to see the Oscars today, right? Not really, I'm just here to check out the scene because I'm leaving the town tonight. Where are you going? I'm going back to Boston, that's where I stay. Really? You're not from India? Never been here. Huh? No. What? This is okay. the first time. Oh, okay, great. When I'm online, I watch tomorrowpictures.tv. doing music since I was like 12 years old, maybe younger than that. Music touches your soul in a way that love can't. It does something to you, whether you realize it or not. Adding important lyrics to it, that's something that's going to stick with that person forever. Where do I want to be? Watching tomorrowpictures.tv.